In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires are open, and from whom the secrets are open, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may know the love of and where we may find our holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of God has fallen upon the world with healing for all. Therefore let us come to God in sorrow for our sins and confess together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we shall sin against you and against our name. In thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own different fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in this life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> So that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. 
invisible. By his faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out, not knowing where he was going. By faith he stayed for a time in the land he had been promised, <clears throat> as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith he received power of recreation, even though he was too old, and served herself as banner, because he considered him, because he considered him faithful, who had promised. <clears throat> Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. <clears throat> All of these died in faith, without having received the promises, but from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confessed that they were strangers and foreigners on the earth. For people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Psalm 50. Please say verses in bold type. The Lord, the most mighty God, has spoken and called the world from the rising of the sun to its setting. And it was a sign that everything did. God shines forth. Our God, our God, has not a man who has not a sign. Consuming fire goes out before him, and a mighty tempest stares about him. He calls the heaven and the earth, and the earth has that he may judge the Jesus. Gather to me my faith, who have sealed my covenant with sacrifice. That the heaven is declared in his righteousness, for God himself is his judge. Hear all my people, and I will speak. I will testify against the whole Israel, for I have called your God. Do that for thank God. Consider this well. There's a tear in my heart, and there is none to deliver you. Destroys. 
For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants who the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night, or near them, and finds them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Sports activities. We came home about 3 30, 
Homework should be finished in time to watch Sesame Street in its heyday. Then after TV, you can go outside until seven because everybody had to be inside to watch the news and that's how we knew it was seven o'clock. After the news, it's shower, prayers, two programs. In my day, it's something like Moesha, Sister, Sister, Saved by the Bell, Full House, you know, the good times. You either talk to your cousin if you wish, or you just sat and be still. But that was the down period. That's when nobody should interrupt the time. One day at school, I had made plans with a friend. It was in my later stage, after the Pokemon and the cricket phase, and we were into marbles. We were into pitching marbles on the field. So we made plans to discuss on the phone the weights, the color and type of marbles that we were going to go to the shop. And if his shop had had in mind one, and we planned that together, I said, do not call after the news. Do not. So on this evening, out of routine, I stayed indoors. I didn't go out. I didn't watch my Sesame Street. Waited by the telephone. No ring came in this particular period that I was waiting. So I said, he must have forgotten because he's not to call after the news. So I did the routine stuff after the news. I showered and I did my prayers. And then I heard the phone. I thought, oh man. Grandma shouts, who is calling at this unexpected hour? Who calls somebody's house at this time? Shying away from my cousins, I said, I don't know, Grandma. She picked up the phone and I thought, both him and I are definitely about to get an earful because nobody is supposed to call at this hour. I went straight for him the next day. Did I not tell you don't call? And he says, yes. But I called before, just before I was watching the news. So I thought and I said to him, no, but the news starts at 7. He says, no, in my house, it starts at 8.30. I thought, ooh, I didn't know they had different views. So I said, okay, this one is out of my control and definitely out of my comfort zone. We're both in trouble in this one, but in a sense, we're both right too. You must be ready, Jesus says. Christ is calling us out of our routines to be prepped for that unexpected call. Not to turn it away and say, well, how dare you do so? And part of that preparation is through baptism. And we give thanks for Melanie's baptism this morning because it reminds all of us about the recognition of the divine image in each of us, the presence of God within this beloved community. With everything that has occurred in the last couple of years, even in the unexpected timing of my friend's phone call, what we have learned is the necessity to be present. It is inviting us to be rooted in the presence of God that which offers life. It is that being present, taking things as they happen, is life itself. Things will be out of the norm and most certainly not in our control, but in the messiness of our lives, the fact that someone is present to hear and to listen means that we see the goodness of the Lord. It means in the mess of war, as well as in the conversations of the church at the moment, we seek things that offer life itself. 
whether that be speaking boldly against something or taking action to stand boldly beside those we wish to stand beside. But it's not just ourselves making ourselves available, but knowing culturally and specifically the need of the individual that stands before you. Doing that thing that makes ourselves, but additionally the other person alive, that gives them the life to step, that gives them life to speak, that offers empowerment and inspiration. We are the agents of transformation that God uses to transfigure the world. Our world needs life. Our phone calls needs life. Our intentional care for each other, just as God is careful to note the very hairs on a human's head, it is the example of careful discernment that is needed for us to be aware of how God is acting in the present. For God has a dream, not a stream of surface level content, but a content of character, a deeper understanding of each other, of ourselves, and in relationship with God. For if it takes the life of someone, if it pains or if it upsets, then surely it can't be of God. If it segregates and if it divides, if it doesn't unify, if it separates, then surely it can't be of God. Being present may go outside the norm, it may be out of our control, but most certainly it is a thing that offers a person life for the moment. And so my prayer for us this morning is that through prayer and through baptism, we are reminded to be present for each other, that we are reminded to give life to one another, recognizing that God is in control and even just outside of the Lord. For the goodness of the Lord can be found in that unexpected phone call, in that unexpected visit, in that unexpected hour. Amen.
We pray for the recovery from illness of all those known personally to us and those not. Help all caregivers get the support that they need within the NHS and the small army of people whose lives are given over to care in a home for family and friends on a 24 hour basis. May they be helped and given some respite to nourish them. We particularly pray at this time for the family of Archie Battersby and all those in the London Hospital who have been involved in his care over the last few difficult months. May, we all, be, may all involved be open to receiving the peace of the water that is always available to us, even if this is only for the briefest of moments. We pray for all those who are grieving at this time and for all those whose anniversaries fall at this time. We give thanks today for the baptism of Melanie and we share every blessing and we pray for her family to keep her safe and happy and thriving. Many in our community are worrying about how they are going to heat their homes in the coming autumn and winter and are stressed about how they are going to put food on the table. Many will be working in multiple jobs if they can find them. But we are not a poor country. Please help us to have perhaps a meaningful national conversation to turn this social crisis into an opportunity, to challenge our values and make plans for how we intend to change the way we allow people to live in poverty unnecessarily. Lord, in your mercy. Remember here all those who are suffering in Ukraine and other war zones. Help all those involved find ways to cope and may small miracles happen every day. We pray too for the Russian families who are losing their young sons and daughters to a war that they also find themselves in and that many did not choose. May sanity be restored to those in power and may your gift of peace manifest itself in every heart that is open to receive it. Lord in your mercy. Hear us. Sometimes we make life too complicated. For example, our drinking water. It comes out of our taps, so by reservoirs. We can drink it straight or use a water filter. We can buy waters in water in bottles and cans. And the water can be still or sparkling and contain a variety of minerals depending on the part of the world it has been shipped from. We are privileged to have this choice as much of the world's population is still without clean drinking water. But now with the current relentless hot weather, we have the prospect of water rationing. So together with the rest of the world, we pray for some rain for us and for all those who are going to find clean water to drink if the day is struggling. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ.
As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of John the Baptist and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
after the men for this next one. I would love to sing the German. Um, she uh, was given these beautiful flowers for her birthday. Um, I received them at home and very kindly um, arranged them for the whole church. So these flowers here, the two at the front and then the one at the back. So thank you for sharing your birthday with us. And it's also a chance to give thanks to you for your presence in our community. So God bless you and thank you for sharing your birthday with us. We'd love to sing for you um, and for Judith all the way from Australia. Thanks be to God. 